Adding integers using number chips. We can use number chips to help us add integers, as it provides a visual way of solving each problem. The red number chip represents negative 1, and the yellow number chip represents positive 1. Combining red and yellow chips. If you combine one yellow chip and one red chip, the sum will equal 0 which means you can remove those chips altogether because positive 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0. Example number 1, negative 6 plus 4. Step 1 is to count out the chips, both positive and negative. So since we start with a negative 6, that means that we will have 6 red chips. And since we also have a positive 4, that means we will have four yellow chips, which moves us on to step number two. Combine each red chip with the yellow chip. Altogether, we can do this four times total until we do not have any more yellow chips left, which means we only have two red chips remaining, which moves us on to step three. Determine the sign for the solution. Will it be positive or negative? Well, since we only have red chips remaining, this lets us know that the solution will be negative. Which brings us to step four, count the remaining chips. Well, altogether, we have two red chips, which means the solution will be negative two. Example number two, eight plus negative three. Step one, count out the chips, both positive and negative. Since we start with a positive 8, that means that we will have 8 yellow chips. And since we also have a negative 3, that means we will have 3 red chips, which moves us on to step 2. Combine each red chip with the yellow chip. Altogether, we can do this 3 times total until we do not have any red chips remaining to combine, which leaves us with 5 yellow chips which moves us on to step three. Determine the sign for the solution. Will the answer be positive or negative? Well, since we only have yellow chips remaining, that means the answer will be positive. And finally, step four, count the remaining chips. Well, all together, we have one, two, three, four, five yellow chips, which means the final solution will be positive five. Example number three negative 8 plus negative 2. And notice for this one there are only three steps. That's because both of our numbers are negative. So let's see how we would solve this problem with the chips. So step one is to count out the chips. Well first we have negative 8, which means that we would have 8 red chips. But then we also have a negative 2, which means that we would have 2 more red chips. Step two. Determine the sign for the solution. Will the answer be positive or negative? Well, since we have all red chips, which all represent negative numbers, that means the solution will be negative. Which brings us to step three. Count the remaining chips. Well, as we knew from the beginning, we started with eight red chips. Plus two more would be nine, ten. So altogether, we have 10 red chips, which means the solution is negative 10. Now there are four problems on the screen I want you to try. If you do not have the actual chips, that is okay. You could always draw circles on a piece of paper with plus signs or minus signs. Or if you have some markers or crayons, you can use two different colors to represent the positive and negative chips. So I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's check it out. Number one is equal to positive two. Number two is equal to negative two. Number three is equal to negative eight. And number four is equal to zero. If you had any of these incorrect, I would recommend you go back and try to find your mistake. Thank you for watching.